Here we go again. The Walt Disney Company is rolling out their actors who already deflect uh, criticisms of their upcoming Disney Plus show. This time it is Rosario Dawson uh, being the one rolled out for the Ahsoka series. She had some uh, pointed comments about the upcoming series uh, and specifically was trying to use the feminism card and basically setting the stage for calling fans uh, misogynist if they have any criticisms for this series. This is what she had to say to Total Film via the direct. Uh, they came after, Dawson's comments came after Beck confirmed that the show will center on the three characters, those three characters being Ahsoka Tano, Sabine Wren, and Hera Syndulla. And then Beck added, these characters are defined by their roles and responsibilities to each other in the galaxy. Nothing much uh, really there, but uh, this is what Dawson had to say. She said, when you watch the 15 years of Ahsoka's journey in animation, it took me a second to even appreciate how many women were on the show. And that was Dave's proclivity. That was George Lucas's proclivity. And now to see continue on with John and Kathleen and Kennedy, it's really quite beautiful. I think that's actually one of the reasons why people have loved Ahsoka's and Sabine's and Hera's journey all of this time, because they had been so prominent as female representation in a space that we don't get to really see women be like that, to be such leaders, to be finicky, to be headstrong, to be stubborn, and to see how different they are and how well they come together as a chosen family. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, have you never watched any science fiction? Have you never watched any genre entertainment before? Have you never read any genre ent entertainment before? This is just absolutely ridiculous and absurd on its face. And again, this is clearly PR talking points used to try and defend this series from the criticisms that it is more than likely going to receive. And they're going to use the misogyny card to go after their critics. We saw this went with Obi-Wan Kenobi. They tried to use the race card. It did not work. People tuned out. Uh, but nevertheless, Dawson goes on and says, it just was really fun to see how that's not only just expanded and grown, and that there's such a rich history there, and not just because of a desire for more inclusivity or diversity, but because it's just been inherent to the story that's been told ever since Dave and Carrie came on board. Except the whole point of this is that it literally is because of inclusivity or diversity. Kathleen Kennedy made that very clear in a fortune in an appearance back in 2015 at some fortune magazine um, women in power summit or something like that, uh, where she literally said she was changing the stories that Lucasfilm was going to be doing, making them much more female centric. And that she was also changing the executives and the employees at the company, making it so they, they had a lot more female uh, people working at the company in order so they could push these female driven stories. Uh, and I mean, it's just another nosedive showing that Lucasfilm isn't changing at all under the direction of Kathleen Kennedy. And it looks like Ahsoka might just be more of the same that we saw in The Mandalorian Season 3 and we saw in the Disney sequel se trilogy.